member from Vancouver Project. Yes, Mr. Speaker, earlier the minister said, and I quote, we take great uh, issue with the, this payment. Not true. When the story of Nigel Rice's $90,000 check broke in the media, the Conservatives were repeatedly praising him for, I quote, ensuring taxpayers would not be on the hook. So my question is, why would taxpayers ever be on the hook in this? Why didn't Conservatives expect Senator Duffy to pay back these ill-gotten expense gains? And who else in the Prime Minister's office actually knew about his Chief of Staff's unethical and illegal gift? The Honourable Minister of Foreign Affairs. Speaker, obviously, uh, the Prime Minister has spoken uh, to this issue uh, at a press conference earlier today. Uh, obviously, we believe this uh, payment was inappropriate. Uh, that's why Mr. Wright offers, offered his resignation, and that's why it was immediately accepted. And the Honourable Member for Vancouver Project. Mr. Speaker, the Minister also talked about uh, transparency and accountability, and that that's what the public wants, and that's certainly not what they're getting here. Are we really supposed to believe that no one in the Prime Minister's office knew that giving $90,000 to the Senator was unethical and illegal? Why doesn't the government just be transparent for a change? On what date was the check issued? What and when will the government release a copy to the public of this check? And finally, why is the Foreign Minister not in Peru on a junket and the Prime Minister here answering these questions as he should be doing? Right